Hello people of the internet. Well, today I am going to do an experiment, which is, let me just move all this out of the way. It's actually a colour and chat. This is predominantly a colour and chat. But um, a while ago, I sorted out some pens. There's 60 pens in this case. There's a zip. And I sorted them out um, to match colour by number books. So Colour Questopia, Jade Summer, um, and I chose 60 colours that basically I could do any colour by number book that I have with. And this this has become my travel cut. I take it downstairs, I mean travel. Don't have to be going anywhere, just be going downstairs. So instead of, because I have a marker display here, so this is the set that I use to basically move around and have all the colours to do colour by numbers in, just in that case. Now the problem was I used an 80 set of pens and there's only 60 in that case. And so there were some pens left over, which I basically put just kind of in this drawer. But what I did the other day is I sorted them, if I tip it, they're all gonna fall out. <laughs> yeah, well, there goes one, I managed to hold them. I sorted them into uh, trios. So three colors that kind of work together, a light, medium, a dark. So this was the, however many it is, 20 that are left over. There's, there's a few more in there. And what I'm gonna try to do with each trio, because I don't wanna waste these, just because they don't match the color by number books that I do. I don't wanna waste them. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm going to try and do um, some monochromatic mandalas. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and I think I also put it on the community tab, I recently did a um, mandala with just one pen, which was this pen by Spectrum Noir, which is one, two, three colors in one. So I'm a light, a medium, and a dark. <laughs> Um, so basically that's what I'm going to try and do but with the pens that are left over from the ones that I use in my colour by numbers. But it doesn't matter if they don't work out fabulously. And I'm using this book by Jade Summer which is has got nice big chunky mandalas in it. Not really my sort of mandalas. I see a thing because the sun's in my eyes so I'm hoping you can see better than me. Um, and I am just going to grab three. So... One, two, three. Now, I'm not quite as stupid as I look. I am going to swatch them first just to make sure they in this bright sunshine that we have on this lovely Sunday morning. Good morning as well. It's a nice Sunday morning. Haven't done a video on a Sunday morning for a long time. Let's see if they all three work together. I mean, they're not going to be the most fabulous blends in the world because they're just what's left over. But those no, three work together. So let's do this mandala <laughs> in just three colours using these three pens. So it is so bright I can't see a thing. The sun is bouncing. The sun's just come up. It's um, just <laughs> uh, it's a bit late in there. It was six o'clock and the sun was just coming up. Oh, it's a bit later than that now. And the sun is giving you lighting you up beautifully, but it's right there, right there. And it's shining right in my eyes and I can see nothing. So no idea what this is going to come out like. But now I've got my plastic sheet underneath as well. Um, just checking. <laughs> uh, I use a plastic sheet because I think it gives you slightly more work time, working time with alcohol markers. So if you use a paper sheet, as soon as you put the paper, I mean, if I was to put this pen here, it would just soak through forever until the pen ran out. Whereas on here, it kind of sits for a little while on this. That gives you a little bit more. I think it does anyway. I might be talking rubbish. Who knows? So how are you all doing, people of the internet? I don't know if you have seen. I have actually been doing live streams on a Saturday. Oh, God, I remember. I forgot how, <laughs> how porous jade summer paper is and how much it steeps over the line if you're not careful I've got to concentrate on that haven't i um i've been doing yeah live streams on a saturday where um color on connect so where anyone can come and join you've got a camera and a coloring book and you've got your clothes on you can come and join in the live stream we all just chat and color it's supposed to be two hours and the time goes really fast and suddenly three hours is gone 
Now I won't be able to do it this Saturday. You're watching this on a Saturday because I am a white. Oh no, I forget. This paper is so porous. Um, because it's my birthday. Hence why I'm doing this video, pre-recording this video. So it'll go live on Saturday when I would normally be streaming, live streaming. So I'm away, I'm away in Torquay. <laughs> it's my birthday, I'm sure my husband has bought me lots of lovely things. Well, he already has. This, I'm talking to you from the past, in the future. Oh, I really don't like those lines. Oh, I've got to, got to go careful, you know, the way it seeps over. I mean, these are nice and juicy, these pens, which, um, which is good, but you've got to be really careful on the old Jade Sun, huh? Sit four miles away from the edge, let's see if that works. Yeah, so while you're watching this, think of me. Look, let's just hope it's sunny. I'm hoping it will be sunny. And it's not going to be raining. We're going to have our last little holiday of the year. We try and go away this time every year. Mainly because it's my birthday and also the schools have gone back for, for two weeks now usually. So it means it's quietened down. Not that it makes UK holidays cheap at the moment. They're very expensive due to the fact that there's uh, no where we have a lot of people are having English holidays and vacations. Okay, whoops! Oh no, I dropped my pen lid. I made the mistake of not getting me a fresh cup of tea before I started. I always have a cup of tea on the go. was cold as well. I'll have to uh, stop and get another one. Let's just do a bit more of this first. So this is going live, uh, which meet on Saturday at two o'clock, which means tonight is Emma Colour's live stream. She's live streaming every two weeks so it's she will be live tonight so if you don't follow which you all do because she's so very talented and if you don't you should do because she's so very talented uh emma emma colors she'll be live tonight at seven o'clock so i will try and watch if there is decent internet but we'll see you might be having a fantastic meal with my husband <laughs> well, I should say, I won't be able to watch. I am having a fantastic meal with my husband, but who knows? I might be just having fish and chips. Oh, I want to I wanna add gel pens now. Not particularly happy about the uh, pens going over the lines. Now, do I do this bit? If I do this bit, it will be this colour, and it will cover up the lines a bit. Let's do this bit. Let's make it. Let's make it intensely blue. Sometimes I used to always colour every bit of the mandala, and then I was watching. Um, oh, I've gone over the line myself there. Look. Don't do that. Watching um, Danny Buttons, and she doesn't. She leaves bits. And so I think I have, I've not left any white bits in this book, but I have in my. Oh, I looked up then, I can't see a thing. Camellia Angelicova book. In, you know, the thinner line mandalas. I'll leave some bits in those. Oh, you've got to be so careful in these Jade Summers. I've got used to the thick lines of Colour Questopia, where you can be a little bit more gung ho. Oh, I said I was going to do the light one, and look, I've grabbed the middle one. Oh well, I'm, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to somehow go over this. Why didn't you tell me, people of the internet? You're always watching. 
in the future. Wouldn't it be funny if I could hear you and go back and uh, time. Wibbly wobbly stuff. Oh well, doesn't look too bad. What I'm gonna do though is give that bit a double layer and then it will darken it up. Oh you know what it also fixes? It also fixes where it bled over. Uh, that was no bad thing. Oops, sorry, I am very much a um oh, I can't see a thing. Very much a paper wiggler. Just turning the book the whole time. I've got to go around again because I get rid of the line or I just live with it right, that's where I stopped oh, never stop right let's do this a double layer these pens where they've not been used at all are so juicy compared to the ones that I've got in my um, travelling marker case Oh, juicy. At least they're being used and not being wasted. I might give that another layer when that's dry. It's a bit sodden at the moment. Right, what are we going to do here? We are going to do definitely the light one. This is the light one. Oops, not a chisel. I'm scared of the chisel. Definitely the light one. I'm also used to my Stedler pens, which are not so juicy, so they're not, you don't get line, you know. You know the ones I mean, these, the permanent skinny ones. I can't see if, I, if you can see anything because the sun is just burning my retinas. Oh, I stopped. Do that bit again. Nice colour that actually. This, the one that I'm using now. Really nice teal colour. Should go around and do all them at once, but I'm gonna put this one in. I'm gonna do that one or that one. This one, I think. Quite only like having three pins. Can't get overwhelmed by colours. The three pin challenge. Oops, over the edge again. I am not the most. Well, I am when I'm concentrating, but to concentrate, you wouldn't see anything because I'd have to get my head right down and cover the whole thing up. Not too bad. And then I think the middle one, so light and dark, the middle one will do that bit. Actually, I think I'll do the dark bit around that bit because that other bit will probably be... Let's do that. Yes, I very much don't like wasting things. I either have to use it or give it away. I'm, I've stopped being a hoarder of supplies. I used to be. I used to be a hoarder of everything. No, not everything. I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> I used to be a uh, definitely a craft supply hoarder. So one, two, three, four. There's a four of those, which isn't too bad. So this was the light colour, 67. The year of my birth. 
No, was that right? Yeah, it was. Because that's the only good bit about colouring it all is that you cover up the over edgy bits, which is nice. Well, I'm starting to concentrate, Matt, and I'm more now, and I haven't got my baseball cap on, so I'm really sorry if you can see wisps of my hair sticking out. Because it's really early on Sunday morning. Got up, left my husband in bed, and came in here to colour and film before he even wakes up. I'm trying to think what exciting things have happened recently. Not a lot, really. Not a lot. I've been very busy at work. Horribly busy. Way busier than I like. It's making me reconsider when I even want to carry on working. Ugh, that's a bad thing to say. Don't need to carry on working. I just do because yeah, I don't know. I'd miss. I'm very good at what I do. Ooh, that sounded really big headed. Okay, I gave up working the inner city to run my own business in 2007. And then in 2010, I was contacted by a company that was just setting up and they said, Oh, you do us a favour, you come back and work for us part time just while we set up. And I was like, Yeah, all right. I come back and work for them part time. And then, <laughs> now I'm full time. I'm the operations manager, so I don't know how that happened. But it does keep me, as I said to my boss, who's younger than me, I'm old enough to be his mum. They're all young, it's an IT company. Um, oh, I said, I, I don't know if I can part with this anymore. And he said, but what would you do if you didn't work for us? <laughs> You'd be bored. And I was like, oh, I wouldn't. But he's right, I probably would be. I would probably be mentally um, a bit bored. I also wouldn't be stressed, so I'm not quite sure if one negates the other. Quite like not to be stressed. But I also like to keep my brain busy. It's a very technical job, very challenging process wise and all that kind of stuff. Proper use me brain I do. You know what I'm thinking, would you? It's my only talent. I'm not creative in any way, but I am analytical. That's why I like colouring. Because I'm not creative. Now what can you see? I think there's a big shadow where the sun's going behind the tree. Nope, seems to be alright. You get really good light when it's this time of the morning because it... Oops. <laughs> Why do I always kick that? But it's, it is uh, very... It's impossible for me to see the screen on the camera. So if you're used to coming in my live stream on a Saturday, you can you can come and colour on this instead. You can pretend that I'm really here live. How are you doing, Audrey? You doing well? Nice to see you, Jackie. Zoe. Right, you're looking good. Nice and relaxed. Tracy, are you working on a mandala again? Caitlin. I don't remember all the people. Oh, Billy, Billy's craft room. How you doing, Billy? Sleeping well, I hope.
went over the line again. Oh, I quite like when it's only got four segments. It's quite easy, isn't it? 67. Oh, not the chisel. I am not a chisel fan. It's funny, isn't it? I love the smooth look that you get with alcohol pens. I love the way they come out with no streaks, well, unless you mess up like I did there. It's because I was talking and not concentrating. But I don't like how much they go over the lines. I prefer water-based markers for that. You know, you've got to sort of keep away from the edge. That's the whole point there, isn't it? Just like concentrating, enjoying the meditative process of uh, de-stressing as you colour. That's actually one of the reasons why it's difficult to colour and chat. Because if I wasn't filming this, I would be head down, either a podcast playing or music playing. And I would be, my brain would be reaching a really nice, soft level of calm. I wouldn't have to keep thinking, remembering to talk. I wouldn't have to keep keep being conscious that the camera's there so that I don't bend down and put my head in the camera. I mean, no one wants to just sit and watch scratchy, scratchy felt pens. Oh dear, lucky that bit up there is the same colour. I mean, I, I put colour in chat on in the background, you see, when I am uh, someone else's colour in chat, not one of my own. That would be very, uh, I don't know what the word would be, very, maybe me tea, because the book will kick it over otherwise. Very big headed watching me own. I don't watch my own videos at all. They go out. Well, I do to edit them, and that's bad enough. Imagine like you you want to do some colouring, so you do some colouring, and you film it as a colouring chat. Then you have to watch yourself again when you edit it, and then make sure it's right. And so, if the colouring chat's an hour long, you had an hour's worth of colouring where you had to not get involved in, you know, get in it and had to keep thinking about, oh, people watching, got a chat, people watching, got a chat. And um, then you have to upload it to your PC and then you have to watch yourself again and edit it. And it's kind of like, you know, this pay that would have taken me would have been a lovely hour of relax. <gasps> oh, nearly knocked me tea over because it's not usually that side. <laughs> um, what would have been a nice hour of relaxing colouring is three hours, one hour of colouring that wasn't as enjoyable, she had to keep remembering to talk, one hour and a half of editing. I do like watching people's colouring chats, but I I was going to say I don't like making them. I like colouring. I like zoning out and colouring. Or I like when we do it on the live stream and I'm chatting and other people are chatting. Because that feels like you're just in a craft club with other people. But sitting here now talking to myself like some crazy person. Knowing that you're going to watch this in a week's time. <laughs> but knowing I've also got to watch it back after I've finished it and edit it. Yeah, not as enjoyable. And I know Tracy, you keep asking for me to do colouring chats. And I don't want to feel obligated to do videos because then this isn't a job. I don't want this to be a job. I don't need any more stress in my life. I want the colouring to be fun. That's one of the reasons why I do the colour and connect, because then you know you're colouring but you're colouring with other people. 
and there's, there's I'm not just sitting here talking to myself I'm talking to other people and other people are responding and it's just nice it's proper interactive this is not interactive this is me colouring and talking oops done so well up to that point and over the line that's not looking too bad might go and get me stop for a second go and get me have a cup of tea because this one's gone and what's left is just the dregs so i'll be back in a minute you it won't notice you i'll say i'll be back in a minute i'll be i set i'll be back now there you go i've been gone two seconds or two days or 10 minutes i've been gone 45 minutes four hours you got no idea <laughs> you have got no idea how long i've been gone but i've got a cup of tea and i've got two biscuits and it is some time later right where were we i was actually gonna oh the sun's moved that's better i can see you now and that is wobbly that's better i am um, I was going to finish the Van Gogh colour <laughs> colour and chat that I started, but I looked at it this morning and then tiny little, tiny, tiny little pieces. I was like, no, I'm not up for that this morning. Sorry, I'm eating a biscuit. <laughs> Five o'clock on a Sunday morning, I'm not colouring in. Tiny weeny pieces. No, I thought I'd have done that one before I'd gone. How remiss of me. Oh, come on. That's the other thing. Bleeds over the line when you don't want it to. But you leave a tiny little white dot. Does it bleed into that tiny little white dot? No, it doesn't. Just sits there mocking you. Right, so I know that I'm going to do all this bit here, the light blue. So I might as well do that first, because I know I'm doing that. Not the chisel. Oh, I've got pain in my jaw today. <laughs> There's so much information that I need to tell you. I've been clenching my jaw way too tight in the night due to stress. <coughs> and they've broken my back tooth. Now today I've got pain in my jaw because of it. But hey, we don't need to talk about that. We're here to colour. Uh, 67, yep. Yeah. We're here to colour and eat biscuits. Talking of eating biscuits. Oh. I put on weight. <laughs> I'm not, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying I'm huge, but I've always been quite skinny. And um, I always am quite, oh, look at that bit there. I forgot that it goes over the lines. I've been away for a minute or 10 or three hours or nine days. And I forgot, I've always been quite slender. In fact, when my husband met me, I weighed eight and a half stone, which considering I'm tall, was way too skinny. Um, and then I sort of, I don't know, went up to about 10 stone, which is all right, it's about right for me, really. It looks all right. Um, but I do, when I'm at work, I get so, involved i wish that stayed like that see that lovely shade in there it won't but i wish it did <coughs> um yeah when i'm at work i struggle to um remember to eat because usually i'm running around and my husband used to phone me and say oh don't forget to eat and i'd go yeah yeah i'll eat don't worry and then he'd phone me at two o'clock and say what have you had to eat and i go yeah i haven't stopped yet i'll, I'll, I'll stop in a minute and then by the time he got to about four o'clock, I'd think, oh, I'll just leave it. I'll just have dinner when I get home. So it kept me, um, 
It's like an enforced diet. Get, get me up the weight I was without having to really, you know, worry about it. I could still have the odd biscuit, just move me tea and have a slurp. Oh, that's a great cup of tea. Oh, that was a nice cup of tea. Don't let me let it get cold because it's a really nice cup of tea. Hang on, concentrate. And so, I've, yeah, sort of without having to think about it, I just sort of didn't put on a great deal of weight. But then, when we were locked down, me and my husband were both working from home, he would. <laughs> He eats like regimented to the clock and he would come in at 11 and say tea and biscuits, like 11s is, and I'd go, oh, okay, I'll go downstairs, get a cup of tea, oh, he gets coffee, I don't like coffee, have a couple of biscuits, then at 12 he'd come in and say, lunch time, <laughs> I'd go, oh okay, now I wouldn't actually be hungry and um, we'd have lunch sit downstairs, have lunch, sit outside if it's nice, half an hour, go back upstairs, then 6.30, dinner time. <laughs> we both have breakfast, you know, sort of half six in the morning or something like that. So I was starting to eat so regularly. Well, more regular, I mean, that's a normal, <laughs> it's not irregular, you know, they're normal, aren't they? Um, but I uh, have ended up putting on a stone. Actually, one stone and three pounds, which... You know, I'm not ginormous and can't fit through the doors, but I'm not used to sort of having wobbly bits. <laughs> Any kind of wobbly bits, the good bits and the bad bits. And it's, uh, yeah, it's... And this is the other thing as well. Obviously, when it was time to go back to work, I've got one of my elasticated red waisted trousers that I've been wearing around the house. You know, while we've around the house. While we've been working from home. Can't see what you can see because of the sun. So I have I had to buy some trousers. And I just at first just ordered some off of Marks and Spencer, size 12 work trousers that I do. And um and Marks and Sp I used to be a 10 in Marks and Spencer's and I thought oh, I'll get 12 because I've put on a bit of weight. And the 12s turned up and one pair was too big and one pair was too small and I was like, oh, how is this? Now, do I need to shut the curtain now because the sun's moving to that weird angle? Probably. Right, hold on. Okay, I have closed the curtains, but they can't be closed too much because otherwise it's too dark. Just tuck it around there like that. And then, yeah, yeah here's what it is. It's either that or you get a load of lines like that so we'll keep it there for the time being what was the saying oh yeah getting fat <laughs> and uh, so i ordered these size 12 for marks and spencers one side one i couldn't do up and the other one i could undo without pull them off without even undoing them so i said oh i'll have to go and actually go down the shop and try on some trousers and that's one thing that annoys me right if my husband is a 34 inch waist he goes into men's sh clothes shop and buys 34 inch waist and that's it you know 34 to 32 mm -hmm. leg whatever it is bish bash bosh trousers for him no mucking about you go into a shop right and you can be a 10 in pre-mark and a 16 in john lewis and a 12 in Mark. Why aren't they all the same sizes? I mean, Marks and Spencers, you can't, you, you're not necessarily even a, a size 12, 10, whatever you are, 16, in all of their sizes. Anyway, so we did. We went down to uh, Westfield. When I did that um, video of me walking around looking at all the stationery shops, and I went and tried work trousers on. I gave up. <laughs> I gave up. They didn't really have... The shops were... It was really busy in Westfield. And we went specifically to Westfield because we thought, oh, a bigger range of shops, they'll have more work trousers type of options. Oh, because obviously Dorothy Perkins has gone now. 
Wallace is gone now. Uh, Debenhams has gone now, so that's principles is gone. I should have looked in next. I didn't see next, otherwise next would have been a good one for work trousers. And in the end, I bought two pairs from John Lewis that f <laughs> that fit. That I could get over me bottom. And then when I got home, I realised they were awful, and I was just buying them because they fit. So I ended up taking them back, and um, I ended up buying some online. Wallace online, that was it. Hold on, I'm having a sip of my tea before it gets cold. That was actually a really big guzzle of tea. <laughs> um, yeah, Wallace. My next door neighbour's cutting the grass. You can hear him kick-starting his lawnmower. Um, yeah, Wallace online. But Wallace online is not Wallace anymore. It's Boohoo or whatever it is. But they did have uh, a nice range of trousers. I managed to get two pairs of work trousers, which was yay. <laughs> so, but I'm not buying any more, as I call them, fat girl clothes. I have to lose this pot belly that I have. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that we used to walk really a lot. What kind of am I going to do these sticks? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do them all of this blue, because it's the only blue I haven't used at this point. And I might dot them. Obviously when we had a doggy, we'd take him out. I would take him out in the morning. And usually like you walk two or three miles with a doggy, didn't you? Like half hour, 40 minute walk. And then even my husband would walk him or I would give him a second walk. So I could walk easily, you know, three to five miles a day. And then when I was at the school, <laughs> I used to walk eight to 10 miles a day, which was like, ah. <laughs> And, yeah, so, obviously, when we went into lockdown, we weren't walking much. We did used to try and go out, you know, when we was allowed our, our exercise, we'd go out and walk around the park. But that sort of wore off, didn't it? You know, once you was allowed a bit more freedom, you stopped what well, we did anyway. And, of course, because we haven't got the dog, we had no reason to go out for three to five mile walks every day. And, uh, so that's one of the things we're hoping to get. Is another doggy which will kick start the walking but the other thing is that I want to do is I've bought my husband um, oh, what's it called conqueror challenges or conqueror events or something we did one when we went to deal in summer we walked to, to France <laughs> um, and you get a medal saying that you've gone to France well we, this time we're we're hoping to do Oh, I don't know which one it is. Hadrian's Wall or Great Wall of China or something. It's about 60 miles or something. But we're hoping to do that. Um, we were going to hope to do it in September, but that's not happened. These pens are so juicy. This paper, look how wet this. It's just not been used, these colours. Look. Um, yeah, we, we were... But yeah, between now, which is actually the 12th of September, but let's pretend it's next week, and October, we hope to do whatever the thing is. I can't remember if it's 60 or 90. I'll put a thing up here that tells you which one it is that we're doing. Which means, I think our goal is to walk five miles a day, which will be hard to fit in. <laughs> but we used to do it when we had the dog. So we just got to sort of structure it like that as though we've got a dog. And also, of course, we're hoping to get a dog. We have been on the wait list for Batsy for two years, before the pandemic. My little Lucky, he's been gone for years now. Can you believe that? Is it three years? Oh, it might be two. Yeah, two. And um, we filled in an application form on Batsy Within a couple of months, not because we wanted to replace him, but we know that it takes a long while. We just didn't hear anything back. And um, we recently did hear back from them saying, you know, we've moved up the... Well, I sent them a 
sent them, it's not an email saying, because they sent me this thing asking me to donate more money. We do donate to Percy Dogs Home already. Can you donate more money? And I said, uh, um, but they wanted us to take part in an event, which we did take, when we had lucky, we took part in this mucky pup thing. And uh, they sent me an email saying, yeah, we're going to take part in the mucky pup thing again. So I replied back to them saying, well, no, because we haven't got a dog. Because obviously the one we did have, who came from Betsy as well, has, has gotten to Rainbow Bridge. And so unless we get another dog and we don't want to buy, we don't want to buy one, a box fresh one from a breeder. We don't believe in that. We only buy, res uh, buy rescue dogs. Well, you do buy them at the end of the day. You do buy for them. They don't give them to you for free. We only want to get a rescue. So, um, yeah. I sent them an email saying, we can't take part, we haven't got a dog because you haven't ever acknowledged our application form. And they come back and said, oh, we're really sorry. We've been really busy because of the pandemic. And I was like, yeah, but we sent it to you before the pandemic. And they was like, oh, OK, we're really sorry. And they've put me on, put us on the list. And But they've written, they've just got, got no dogs at the moment. But I don't know, we're going to start looking in earnest, whoever he is, um, when we come back from the, being away. And uh, probably try Wood Green Animal Shelter and some other places rather than Battersea. I think Battersea's become too well known because of the Paul O'Grady programme. Oh, I might as well just scribbled over the... Oh, it's just got me grains out. This pen is so juicy. Yeah, I think Patsy Dogs have become too popular. Oops. One more. Oh, it would have been nice to have a big yellow daisy there. But, hey, we haven't because we're only using free pens. The mandala with free pens that are kind of monochromatic but not right because these are these three. If I had all of the pens, to, you know, that I could choose from, I wouldn't have put these three as the mon monochromatic ones that go together. But it's just these are the three that I left over from sorting out my colour by numbers sets. Okay, let's let that dry a little bit. Swig a bit more of my tea, and then put a bit of something in those to make them look a little bit different colouring. Just realise you don't need to stay here while I do the slurping. Okay, my husband's just got up and I went and did him breakfast and now the sun has moved while I've been gone. So let's move the curtains. Oh, that's better. Uh, what was I saying? I've got no idea. <laughs> got no idea. Right, let's see how this works. I am going to... Do some little dots down here. And fewer. And then I'm going to go over it again to make weird blended colour. If this paper wasn't quite so sucky in here, it would have blended a little better. But all I'm trying to do is just get a slightly different shade. Um, that's the other thing as well. I want to go over these triangles again, don't I? Make them darker. Make them stand out. I'm going to do shading in a Jade Summer book. And all the paper wants to do is suck the ink in. I'm not going to give you any working time, I'm just going to suck the colour in. Hey, let's keep going. Yeah, so colour and chats. I was, don't know if that's what I was talking about before I went. I was just talking about it with my husband when I was downstairs. I said one of the things that I... What I like doing 
what I like doing on the internet is um, playing with my things and sharing my findings, you know. Let's see how this pen works. Let's see how this pen works. What's better about this pen than this pen? Is this is this one better than this one? Oh, look at these pens. Are. That's what I enjoy sharing. And, of course, look what I've bought because all you mad people like seeing what I've bought and I like seeing what you've bought. But colouring for me, I, I enjoy it better when either there's people here, really, and we're doing it together, so when my mum and my brother come round and we all zone out, and barely any talking takes place. Or when I'm doing it with, you know, in Colour and Connect, but doing this isn't so enjoyable. Well, I'm enjoying the colouring. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Maybe I'm selfish, because I know that some people, you know, um, Lucy just adds colour. She uh, always refers to her channel as uh, our channel, and look at what, you know, this is what we're going to do. And I'm not as talented as, as Lucy, I'm just a... I'm just me, mucking about, having some fun colouring. And so I've got nothing to teach anyone or show anyone or share. So I, I just wanted colour. <laughs> and maybe that's what it is. You know, this is... I can't be a... Um, this is our channel. Let's do this together. Because I'm just me. Just colouring. I quite like the dots, quite enjoying them. These, the dot things work better on better paper when you're able to um, blend things a little bit more when they don't dry so quickly and you get more of a shady effect. Can't really do shading on this paper because it just, it's not good, not good. My husband said he's going to cut the grass today. Don't believe him. He's going to come up with some excuse. It's like a jungle out there. I must admit, he has been back at work in the office more often than not now. So it is harder to get it done. Oh, this is alright. It's coming out alright. Let's have another sip of my tea. <laughs> actually sensibly turn the uh, camera off while I'm slurping away nobody needs to hear that I did try blending not on this page because I did just try putting a darker colour here and trying to blend it out it really did not work on this paper it just came out like I was incapable of uh, putting colour down But I think if you try and uh, pretend... Oh, look at that. Look at that. You didn't see it, thank goodness. But I just drew over the line. Why did you just give me a crayon? I'm going all gung-ho now. Die ho <laughs> Let's have a poll in the uh, comments. Hands up if you like Jade Summer Paper. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. But this is not the best paper in the world. I don't like the, um, the way that's gone all weird. Soaked in and funny looking. Maybe it's because I have terrible alcohol markers. Maybe if I had a full set of Copic markers, <coughs> they'd blend better. I don't think even a full set of Copic markers would blend well on Jade Summer paper. No disrespect to Jade Summer, it's just the Amazon paper. But with the black background, it becomes extremely. Um, Porous, I suppose. I don't know what the word is. 
it's very rough, isn't it? Oops, I've got power bits at the top. The other thing to worry is that I have to do a lot of talking at work. And it's like sometimes I finish work, even if I'm working from home, and I actually finish at five o'clock, and I turn around this camera, you know, turn around my chair from the work desk to over to this desk and do some colouring. The last thing I want to do is chat. We called it and chat. I just want to half an hour de stress. And also doing a YouTube channel, I do it to share with people, share what I'm doing, meet others, chat. I don't want to, this to become a job. I've said it a million times, you're probably sick of me saying it. Don't want this to become a job, don't want this to become a thing. I have a job. I know some people do, it's just not me. Just want to colour for fun and share with people on the internet who go, yeah, they're nice pens, Lily, I like them. Or, ooh, I didn't realise they was available. And I do the same on theirs. I like all of that. Sorry, sorry if you didn't see that. That's the other thing as well. I have to remember to put it in. That's not too bad. Well, I can't do something with this because it's all gone a bit weird. Which colour was that? This one. I don't know where I'm going to fix it though because got to stop and start somewhere just leave it just leave it at the end of the day no one's gonna see it are they that's the other thing as well is I have to keep my glasses on when I'm colouring with you so I can see what's on the screen <laughs> But I like to take my glasses off and get down low and absorb myself. I also like to use my colouring slope, which I can't do when I'm with you. I think what I'm probably saying is this will probably be my last colouring chat. <laughs> I will still be doing the colour, colour and connect on Saturdays. I love that. That's so much fun and the time goes really quickly and it's just so nice to really interact. I don't think colour and chats are for me. It's like I want my music on now. I want to be listening to some music. I want to listen to a minimalist podcast or a Cal Newport podcast. Or I want to have Emma Colours in the background um, chatting away. Or Corey, colourfully optimistic. Optimistically colourful. Either way, she's optimistic. It's like when my mum and my brother come over on a Sunday and chat. Colour, paint, whatever we do, art club. It is silent. And I have this three hour piece of music. Um, it's like the sort of music that you get when you're in a spa. And it's a meditation, it's delta wave music. It's supposed to calm you, calm you down. And I put that on when we go into the conservatory. And we'll chat for the first five minutes, you know, we'll talk about, oh, my uncle's done this and blah, blah, blah. And then bit by bit, we quiet down. And it goes dead silence. And then suddenly, we're all just in our own little colouring worlds. And that's lovely. That's what it's all about. And then suddenly, the three hour music track will end. And we all go, oh my word, three hours has gone past already. And my mum says, I love this music, put it on again. And we'll put it on again. And we'll do another three hours of just total blissed out. I mean, my husband's happy as Larry. He's sitting in the front room watching the Grand Prix and, you know, we're in the conservatory, music playing. Yeah, the day just, that's, that's how I like to colour. I like to absorb it. 
can become a meditative process. That's the benefit of adult colouring. You know, the lovely jade, Chelsea Jade, is um, having mental health issues at the moment. God bless ya, Chelsea, my darling. Um, and you know, it doesn't help when you're thinking about, oh, I've got to upload this to YouTube. Oh, I've got to do three videos a week. Oh, I haven't put something on Instagram today. Oh, that's just... Unless you want it to become that, you know, you're not doing yourself any favours. I sound really old. Oh, social media. Oh, it's ruining young people's lives. I must admit, if you've not watched Emma Colours' um, tour of her colouring space, watch it. Because I'm now debating getting rid of all our furniture in our front room and just setting up a colouring desk for me in there. <laughs> and uh, a lazy boy like him, friends, for my husband, with the telly straight in front of it. Because it's just like, oh, that looks like the... Uh, Emma and her husband look like they just have... Do exactly what... Can you imagine sitting there every evening and just colouring? I'd get so much coloured. I'd just be, I'd be a relaxed, jellyfied. I really like that dark blue and that light blue together. It looks very, I don't know, Art Deco. Right, what's gonna go here? It has to be this mid blue, which I really don't like so much. This has to be the mid blue. Let's, let's do the bits that I can do. Which if we know that, cause I'm doing all the frame in this lovely color, marine blue. I should probably say which pens I'm using, just in case anyone wants to replicate this beautiful work of art. I'm using standard Shinhao markers, so it doesn't matter what brand you've got. You know, touch new, new touch. Oh, leap, joy wish. Oh, that's awful. Just went over. Let me just finish this bit, and I'll tell you. And the three colours I'm using are... Uh, the dark is 62. The middle is 63 and the light is 67 and they are called Barine Blue, Cerulean Blue and Pastel Blue. That was the other thing. I thought about never not editing, just recording these live, boof, uploading them. I have the utmost respect for Danny Buttons who does that for all of her videos. She's just like, camera on, talk, colour, upload, bish. And I'm like, if that was me, there'd be too many gaps, too many spaces, too many humming and ahhing. She'd all get bored. My head would be in the way half the time. I'd be stopping to slurp my tea every five minutes and you'd be like, I'd get them comments on the internet, you know. Oh, do we have to listen to you slurping your tea? It's like I had to put a video up the other day and it was the Miro flip through of the Miro colouring book and I know it's not everyone's taste and as a joke in it I said oh I'm not going to butcher the French apologies to anyone in France now I know it was in Spanish and I said it and I laughed because I thought ha ha everyone will know that's a joke and then I thought to myself as I was editing it no nah, they won't I'll get some comments will go oh did you know that Miro was Spanish? And you, that was, that's not French. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to put a comment on the screen <laughs> and to say, yeah, I know it's Spanish. It's, it, and it's, it's the killjoys that's like, yeah, I know. I was joking. I won't bother. I won't be a human. Okay, so I've done all the edges almost. I've got them bits to do now. Right, I'm going to have to do a look at that. Look at that! What shall I do there? Gonna have to... See if I do the, this colour, it's not gonna cover it up. I'm thinking about doing the dark colour, but then that'll blend in with the lines. 
going to have to be the light colour. And it, and it, people of the internet. Try and blend it in a bit. Maybe you won't see it. Maybe I shouldn't have pointed it out. Nothing to see here. So we're approaching autumn. Or well, as some people say, we're in autumn, but as we're going away, I don't want to say it's autumn until we come back. Then it'll be autumn. <laughs> Autumn's after my birthday. Then it'll be Halloween. Then it'll be Christmas. Then it'll be a new year. Wow. Those two years have gone quick, haven't they? You know, 2020 and 2021. I mean, 2020 was weird. That went extremely quickly, but also extremely slowly. Because <laughs> you kind of wasn't doing anything. Why not doing anything? I mean, I was working, so I was still working and I was working silly, crazy hours. But you wasn't, you didn't have anything in the calendar. You know, there's always something to break things up, isn't there? So you're going over your friends for a barbecue or you're taking your mum to the theatre or you're meeting friends up in town because it's someone's birthday or you're going to a wedding. And they sort of pepper the year. They're sort of milestones in the year, aren't they? And of course, in 2020, we didn't have any of those milestones. So it felt like whether you was furloughed and stuck at home or whether you was like me and my husband working from home, all the days became the same. And I'm quite like routine, you know. But suddenly it was just like there was nothing peppered, no milestones for your year to go, oh, it's August, we're going to Janine's wedding or whatever. So that it seemed that the year went slow. But then, suddenly, it was the end of the year, and it felt like, oh, this year's over, and I've done nothing. <laughs> nothing but work, and nothing but, or whatever, nothing but sit at home, do jigsaws, or whatever you did, you know, when we was mostly locked down. I mean, me and my husband was lucky, we went away for four days. When, you know, when we was released a little bit before we got locked down again. But yeah. These two years have gone hyper quick. Maybe it's my age. Time goes fast when you get old. Time goes fast. I have no idea how long this colouring chat is going to be because I stopped the camera and I do film on a camera, not on my mobile phone. About every between five and ten minutes so that I can upload it in smaller chunks to the computer because otherwise you get massive 10 gig files which take forever to copy and I like to deal with smaller files plus it's less likely to get corrupt and lose everything doesn't matter if, if I lose a two minute chunk it's better than losing a, the whole thing Jesus, terrible at going over the lines That's because I want to be down there. We're nearly done. Are you excited? I am. Though it feels quite nice to uh, only use three colours, I feel there could have been one more colour, maybe a, a really pale one, or something else. And maybe I'll add a bit of uh, bit of gel pen at the end. I don't know. Who knows? We're not at the end yet. Isn't it funny? I do like monochromatic mandalas. I also like ones that are just joyously full of every colour.
It's like, um, when you decorate and you only use like a very simple two or three color palette and it looks really sophisticated and classy. And then there are people that have mismatched wooden furniture and bright paintings on the wall and it's just joyous. They're both nice. I want a splash of yellow or orange or red there. <laughs> Maybe there's something else I can put in it. What's, th what's this? No, this is green. Sorry, the noise is this. I don't think I can put anything in without... No, that green's wrong. So is that green. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. No, all them greens are wrong. I want to put another colour in, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with it. Well, I am going to stick with it. I like these two colours. That dark colour and that light colour. It's that mid colour I don't really like. Which is number 62. Cerulean blue. So we need this to be this. You know, so I think I'm going to do this whole bit. Shouldn't have gone that near the edge. You didn't remind me, did you? You didn't say don't go near the edge. leave that to dry and then come back to it. These pens are very wet. Very juicy. Always looks so different on the little camera screen that I'm looking on, and I always try to adjust it in ca in camera. But then when I actually look at it on the screen, computer screen, when I'm editing, it always looks true. So I'm usually quite happy with that. that bit with that colour and see how that comes out to get another shade. I'm always conscious when I'm not talking, thinking, oh, stop talking, stop talking. Stop talking. I wonder if I go over that will be nice to be too dark. Let's go over with this and see what that comes out like. Oh, this is a nice colour. Double layer. Nice. Giving it like a bit of a green tinge. I don't know why, because they're both blue. Well, turquoise, I suppose. Sorry about all the moving, it's just now I'll do it. Oh, 
I mean, it's weird enough having the colour underneath the camera anyway. Without having to sort of force me hand in funny angles. I never thought I'd enjoy colouring mandalas. Is that giving it a slightly different shade? I think it has, depends whether the light's on it. Yeah, it has. Yeah, I like that. Double layer this as well. grab two pens in the next bit and do a blend. I don't think it's going to work, but we can try it. I think the colours are too far apart. They might not be, but we can try. We can, but try. So, what am I going to do? I am going to... I don't think it will pull. If I do that and then that. It might if I'm quick. Right. Here we go. I'm double handed. This is where I drop one of the pens to ruin the whole thing. So this is the same colour and now I'm Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. See whether I could blend that in. Eh, it did, but it didn't really add anything. Keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it wet. Add a little bit of dark. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Add a little bit more. Blend it in, blend it in. Oh, you can't see anything. Bend it in, bend it in, bend it in. Come around the corner. Bit more. Keep it wet, keep it wet. Bend it in. Oh, the paper's so wet now. Bend it in, bend it in, bend it in. It worked a bit. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to look like when it dries down. On this paper anyway. Okay, let's do that again. Actually, let's do it the other way. Don't keep this wet, keep this wet, keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it wet. A little bit of a darker colour in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. <laughs> Around the corner. Apologies if none of that was on camera. I was doing an amazing job, you just couldn't see it. Oh, it's so wet under my hand. Literally that bit is like, you can see the paper winkling. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in. Come down there. Blend it in. A bit more dark. And, whoops. Fighting with the pens now. Okay, look how wet that is. Oh, it's wrinkled. Sodden. Yeah, once it dries, it doesn't. It just loses its. Blendability, but I tried. Um, what am I doing? 
63 is the dark one, 67 is the light one. Right. See if I can actually do it so you can see this time, huh? <gasps> see, that's what happens when I've got pens open. 63 is the dark one. Bit of that. Go over it, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Keep it wet, blend it in, blend it in. Keep it wet. Around the corner, blend it in. Keep it wet, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going, keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it moving. And then, a bit more of a darker one. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it wet. Keep it going, round the corner, round the corner. Blend it in, blend it in. Keep it going, keep it wet. Yeah, they don't blend on this paper. It's quite, it's quite good keep saying, keep it wet, blend it in. Ooh. Sorry, I'm trying to move the curtains again. Oh no, we're not ready for that yet. We're not ready for curtains yet. That's too dark. See, there is a fine point during the day when this, the light in this room is perfect. And we've had it. Right, 63. And keep it wet, keep it wet, keep it moving, blend it in, keep it moving, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it, blend it, blend it, round the corner. Round the corner, blend it in, keep it wet, 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 keep it wet. Blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Wow. Ah, let's see if I can get this light sorted out. Hold on, let's put my lids on. 67 and 63. Okay, so we've now got the curtains half open, <laughs> half closed, bit of everything really. Just going to have a sip of my tea then. Oh, it's nearly all gone. Right, what we're left with, these little triangle bits. So we know they're going to be that colour around the edge. By the way, don't take any notes of me. I am no mon mandala ex. I nearly said mandala then. That's getting worse. Um, I'm no mandala expert. Do your own thing. Enjoy the process. It's not about the product. It's about the process. that one second layer give it a bit deeper it did I'm gonna try a third layer on it I want um, when it's wet it's this really nice deep shade kind of want that deeper deeper shade You know what I might do as well? I might go around this, in this. But then again, I might not. Because even wherever you stop there, it's going to um, gonna do a line. So maybe I just have to live with it. Okay, let's do... Whoop. 63 there. followed along with me and coloured with the same colour pens, do let me know on Instagram. Mm. 
And now I can pretend that I really have uh, showed people something which I haven't. I think that's what people have to remember as well, that people making YouTube videos, unless they've got a million subscribers, you know, trying to PewDiePie or something, or who is them people? Jake Paul and his brother. No, you're not making, you know, people aren't doing this for money. Oh, I'm going to have to take my glasses off and get down. Let's bring that you really down because, whoops, and tighten the camera up because I can't get around these little circles. Yeah, unless you've got millions of subscribers, everyone is doing this for fun and for sharing. So when people get demanding or rude in the comments, you've got to bear in mind that people are giving up their free time just to you no, know, that you're watching, it hasn't cost you anything. Oh, you might have had to watch an ad at the beginning of it. But it hasn't cost you anything to watch. And people like... People who really show you how to do things, like Lucy just adds colour. Who really show you how to do things. She's doing that in her own time. Giving her own life energy. And it's just so... Demoralising. When people leave horrible comments and go, yeah, well, I wouldn't have done it that way because, and I'm like, <laughs> there was one comment that I got. It was funny, and I'm not doing anything nearly nearly as talented. That was now, what was it? They basically told me that I did everything wrong. <laughs> And I went to have a look at their channel and they, they, they hadn't uploaded anything, they hadn't done any videos. So I left a comment saying, thank you for telling me how, you know, how much, what I'd done wrong. I just went to check out your channel to see how to do it all right, but I noticed you didn't actually have any videos. So um, maybe before you start telling people, uh, you know, how to do it right, you make some videos. No, instead of telling how people to do it right, maybe you can make some videos showing people how to do it all right. Because, you know, people in glass houses. Is it people in glass houses? Is that the right thing? Or is it get your, get your own house in order before? You know the, you know the thing I mean. <laughs> it's like these people sitting at home going, Oh, well, you ain't done that very well, have you? Oh, I could do it better. Well, go on then. Get your camera out, set it up and do it better. Stop moaning. Stop moaning at the people who are sharing that you're sitting there and enjoying their videos. Can you put the link in? You didn't put the link in. Can you put the link in? <laughs> okay, yeah, hold on a second. I have just come home from work and wanted to do an hour's colouring, but I'll just sit here for two hours and find all the links and edit the video and this, that and the other, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, rent over. I want people to appreciate the creators that are doing this. Anyone who's doing it in the colouring community is doing it because of their love of sharing and their love of colouring. And the, and, and the fact that we've... There's a tribe. We're a tribe. You found your tribe. If you're however old you are, 40, 50, 60, and you like colouring, and you found these other people on the internet that are like you, why do you want to bring them down and drive them away? Don't. Don't leave horrible comments to people's videos. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't watch it. But don't pick holes. Don't pick holes because they move the book too fast or because they talk too much. Maybe that person is home alone all day on their own. Maybe their husband died last week and they've got no one to talk to. So maybe when they're talking to the people of the internet, maybe that's their only interaction they're going to get. And maybe it's stopping them being sad just for a little bit. 
And so when they log in and then they see, oh, I could hardly see what you were doing because your head was in the way, or you kept moving the book, you're all over the place. I wish you was a bit more structured. Maybe think about that you don't know the whole story. Just because you can see someone's hands and just because you can hear their voice it doesn't mean to say you know what's going on. Oh, that got deep as we approached the end of the mandala. That got deep. Just think of the person at the other end. The other end of this. The other end of this is a real person. Whether that's me or anyone. I mean, I'm an old cow, I can take anything, but things still get to me. makes me sad when I hear some of the younger people that get horrible comments. Because they're not all cares like me. <laughs> they believe it. Anyway. Anyway, you didn't come here to wear this jibber jabber, you came here to watch me colour. Have you noticed I'm using the darker one on this last bit here because I feel like it will I do light dots around the edge and then finish with that the horrible blue that I don't like in there and we are done. Hard oh, look. That's because the paper was buckled, that wasn't my fault. Don't blame me. I don't know why you bothered doing a colouring check. We're so busy going over the lines it was hardly worth watching. You have got no talent whatsoever. Why do you bother showing your things on the videos? What makes you think you're so good? I didn't learn anything watching this video. That's lucky because I wasn't here to teach you anything. We've all gone quiet for the last five minutes of our class while we finish up our pictures. The reason why I've gone quiet is because I'm down here now. I've got my glasses off and I'm down here with you. Right, where are we? Glasses back on to see the full thing. Glasses back on for you too. And we've got to do the dots. And we've got to do the bobbles. Let's see how that shading came out. Oh, these thick books are really thick. It didn't really, because it doesn't really work. Um, that's all right, the triple layer has given it a different colour. So maybe I will do triple layer on there. Just bring that down one more. Triple layer on there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my, <laughs> because I colour and chat, my moaning, my colour and moan. Marker and moaning. New series. Kim, come watch me colour with markers and moan about life. Oh, I was going to do light bubbles, but I've gone for dark bubbles. I need my glasses off again, sorry. I'll have to come back in, because if I don't bring you back in... Then my head will be. I have to put you lower than me so my head doesn't go underneath. My head could do be could do with being a bit nearer, really. Sorry if you can see 
wispy bits of grey hair sticking out. So, we're nearly at the end. If you have stayed for this long, well done. I know that most people don't. They just either skip through, jump through, or um, just watch the first 10 minutes and then get bored. Or watch the first 10 minutes and fall asleep. But if you have stayed this long, I want you to leave in the comments purple. What? Hang on, what is it? Oh, what was it? Audrey, what was it? Purple. Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. And then I'll know you've been here to the end. And you will get my love and affection. Oh, there's lots of dots, isn't there? Oh, and my battery's flashing. Oh no, that means I've been recording for way too long. If my battery's flashing. So you might go before I finish this. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And let you know that I will post this completed picture, if the camera runs out, on the community tab in YouTube and on Instagram. So... If the battery runs out before I have a chance to say goodbye properly, thank you very much for watching. And take care. But I will keep going until the battery runs, turns off the camera. I suppose we've got to do the other blobs as well. Oh, we're over the edge trying to rush now. I could not do a mandala in half an hour. This is probably taking me more than an hour. I'll find out when I add all the bits up of the uh, video. I'm still flashing, I'm still flashing. Let's move you up. Move you up and do these blobs. What colour am I doing the blobs? 67. It's the only colour left really. Oh, I got used to being low, so let's get you low. I don't think it's going to make it. We can not make it, Captain. I wish it would give me a longer warning that the battery was running out. Sorry, you probably didn't even see that. Going over the edge where I'm in a rush. Beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. Do, 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 do. Beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. I bet you any money there's no one who could name that song. Well, I was born a little premature. Beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. Mum just couldn't take no more. Beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. The army then rejected me. Said I had two flat feet. Wore them out when I was free. Beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. Well, I've done everything there is. I've seen everything there is. 
I've met everyone but Liz. Now I've even met all Liz. No time for relationships. Skip the floor, play, let it rip. You gotta beat the clock. Why do I remember the lyrics of songs from the 1990s? Two more bubbles, are we gonna make it? I'm a dog now. <laughs> One more bubble. One more bubble. Are we going to do it? I didn't turn the camera off. If I want it won't come back on. Oh, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Are you still there? You're still there. Right, let's get glasses on. Back up. Look, we did it, we did it. People of the internet are using just three pens. And it didn't look too bad, does it? So thanks everyone for watching and take care. Bye.